So Boaz looked upon her. And remember I said this Mrs. YouTube YouTube only, Natalie shutting down the monic realms. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so Boaz, so Boaz looked at her and he gave instructions to them to leave droppings out there. Excuse me. Oh my God. Spiritual bell. So she, that was his way of providing for her without her even knowing. He didn't have to make a scene. He didn't have to tell everybody what he was up to. He didn't get, have to get everybody permission. He didn't have to say, oh, was well, she too dark or she too light? And oh, well, she don't have enough of this or she don't have enough of that. Do you have enough? Because that goes to show me how y'all be this one-sided stuff and this business stuff and all that, which which would be, uh, uh, for us, they could, I'm concerned, they had a purpose and an agenda for them two coming together. But why did God consider Ruth? Why didn't he consider all those women? <laughs> Honestly, Boaz was taking his time because he could have had any woman he wanted. Hmm. And I like Boaz because he seen what he liked. Okay. And he went and got it, baby. He already started to do what a man's supposed to do. He wasn't worried about, is she going to marry me for my money? Now, some of y'all need to worry about that. <laughs> but when you find a real, but when you find a real one, this is what we talk about. We not talk about uh, shake and bake out there and, and, and quick fix and uh, she can't get no life. No, no, no. We talk about kingdom. We talk about kingdom women. We talk about women of substance. A, a woman who knows who she is. Amen. It's not afraid, you know, and a man who knows who he is and know how to how to obey God and see the jewel. The diamond in the rough. Because that's all it was. All she needed to be is cleaned up. I'm pretty sure she had everything else she needed. She was in a she was in a position, not that she you look at it as lost, but she wasn't, she didn't lose anything. She was in a place of transition. And a lot of people, like I told somebody before, you sitting up here trying to pocket watch me. You don't know nothing about me or my money. Because I'm not flashy. I could have money anywhere for all you know. But how is she supposed to think about you when you're trying to pocket watch her? No, baby, ain't nothing wrong with me. Something wrong with you. And little do you know, because I'm not desperate. So remember, I realized we weren't playing chess because we playing chess. Okay, but let's let's keep going. Because my phone about to go dead. And I want to finish this message. But do understand the message. Quality. What is quality to you? What does it really look like? Is it just material? Is it just shiny objects? Because <clears throat> most of y'all get right that just that right there. All those things do corrupt. Listen to that very clearly. All those things do corrupt. There's nothing wrong with having nice things, want nice things, want your spouse to look good and all that, whatever. But that shouldn't be the first thing you look at when you see somebody. Because believe me, with six degrees or no degrees. She can be greater than anybody you ever met. With millions. So I'll leave that with you. And you all have a good, good night. And just <clears throat> lay hold to this word. And let it bless your heart, your soul, your spirit. Amen. Let the Lord bless you.